everyone. Welcome to Adventures in Everyday Cooking, where every day can be an adventure in your kitchen. My name is Heather, and this is day two of the 12 days of cookies. Now, today's cookie is an embarrassing one for me. <laughs> Let me explain. I'm a Pamper Chef consultant, and if you are a Pamper Chef consultant, you know there is a cookie that everybody makes because we have this really cool tool to make it. This is the cookie press. Now, the, the cookie press has been around for a long, 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 long time. But as luck would have it, I have literally never used one. In fact, that one, this one was purchased last year on Marketplace on Facebook. And um, when I opened it up, it is brand stinking new. And the directions were the old school directions, which means this thing, this thing is probably like 20 years old. Yeah, I kept it around for a year. I didn't use it, um, mainly because it was something new and I just didn't maybe have time or didn't want to. But here in the 12 days of cookies, I decided let's conquer this fear and do the classic spritz cookies using the Pampered Chef cookie press. Okay, so here's what I want from you seasoned cookie pressers. If I do something wrong with grace, I ask you to correct me because I, I'm gonna do something wrong. I'm gonna read the directions, but the directions are real, real short. My, my I, high pitched means I'm a little worried. Um, the directions are literally just preheat the oven, mix together the stuff, fill and do it. So, I mean, we're gonna try it. So let's see how this turns out. You ready for this adventure? If you're gonna do it with me, I'm gonna give you the classic spritz cookies recipe. You're gonna need one and one half cups, three sticks of butter, softened, one cup of sugar, one egg, one teaspoon of vanilla, three and a half cups of all purpose flour and colored sugar or sprinkles that are optional. All right, the first thing we're gonna wanna do is go ahead and get the oven preheating to 350. The next thing we want to do, I think, is install whatever press we decide to use. We're gonna use the, the Christmas tree first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it here, actually. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. Put it here. Whoops, turn it around the right way. Put it here. Put my lid on. So that's going to be where it comes out. And then I'll be able to put the stuff in there and spritz it outwards. I hope. Yeah. Okay. We're going to actually, okay. I'm a little nervous. Like th this is, this is a technique cookie. And yeah, let's really get into this cookie. So we're gonna put all of our butter into the bowl and I used unsalted butter. It did not say either way if you use salted or unsalted, but there's no salt in this recipe. So it makes me a little wary um, that maybe they assumed that everybody was using salted butter. I don't know if that's the case or not, so. I've always wanted to do this and I've never done it because I never owned a cookie press until last year and then I took a year. Okay, let's go. All right, we're looking rather fluffy. So let's go ahead and add our vanilla and our egg and now our sugar. Here we go, one cup at a time. We're just gonna eyeball it. And then apparently that's it. Okay, off to the side this goes because I'm gonna need all this <laughs> to figure this out. Directions say to use a scooper and to use the scooper to fill Oh, that's actually um, pretty genius. 
it's just the right size to put this cookie dough right down in there. All right, so now I'm going to twist on this little thing and we are going to click, click. Oh, 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 look at there, it's coming out. It's coming out, okay. Let's just start. So it said, be in contact with the pan. So let's just try like three squeezes and then lift. Mm. That, nope, that didn't work. Okay, hold on, try again. Here we go, one squeeze. Oh, hot dog. Okay, here we go. One squeeze is plenty. Uh-oh. So there is some, some error possible with these cookies, but so far um, that's pretty easy. Now if they bake well, that's the only pro, that's, that's, hmm. All right, well, um, that looks pretty fantastic. I, I mean, I don't, we'll see how they cook. Here we go, 10 to 12. Here we go. Meanwhile, let's try out some of these other things. Oh, first let's go ahead and refill it. So this is the button that you push, pull up. Man, you know, I feel like I missed out all of my years by not owning a cookie press. How easy was that? That's a snowflake-ish, right? Should it be the other direction? Which way is it supposed to go? The beveled side or the straight side? I'm assuming straight side down because that makes the most sense. But watch me be wrong. Okay. Okay. Why isn't it sticking? Is it because my mat is too slippery? Let me try it with no mat. Whoop, did I pull up too fast? Okay, I take all, I take it all back. This is not very easy. How, how, how is this? Okay, what the heck? Maybe I will turn it around. Maybe that was just me being smote. Okay, I'll turn it around this direction and see if for some reason, that's the better way. Okay. <gasps> that's the better way. <laughs> oh, no, it, it was, I mean, it is the better way. They look way prettier, um, but it still has a problem sticking to the pan. Does it really, does it usually do that? I feel like it does. Okay, two beautiful ones. Now we're gonna move on to the next one. So if you have tips for me on how I get them to stick to the pan, let me know, cause I feel like it's probably a thing that everybody struggles with is getting them to stick, not just me. Into the oven, these are gonna go for 10 to 12 minutes and I'll show you the Christmas trees. So, uh, it said to let it cool for a little bit on the tray. Oh, they'll just pop right off. Oh, well, aren't those adorable? Those are just adorable. Look at that. They look like little Christmas trees. Let's taste it. Mmm. 
Mmm, they are good. I feel like this was successful enough that I would definitely try it again. However, I do want to know if you guys have any tips or tricks on how to get those bad boys to stick to the tray. Maybe it's the nature of the cookie. I, I don't know. Oh my gosh. 10% smarter. Thread. 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 Nope. Okay. So here are the other ones um, that just came out of the oven. I will say the snowflakes look pretty good. The maple leaf, not so much. The four leaf clover, not so much. The flower, that looks pretty good. I like the pumpkins. I like this flower. I am stoked about those wreaths. This flower is absolutely fantastic. There are the trees again. The heart actually ended up looking like a heart, kind of. Still not so sure about what this thing's supposed to be, but okay. The butterflies here also are super cute. And I'm not so sure about the umbrellas. So there you have it. Those are all of the templates that come in the Pampered Chef cookie press. Now, should I have done the mum parchment? There's a possibility that yes, I should have. <laughs> because when I picked those up, they didn't move. So we are going to attempt to remove these. Let this be a lesson to you if they don't come up. It's fine though. This was all just a learning experience, but... Oh! <gasps> Look at that! It came up! Very gently, I'm lifting my delicate cookies up off the tray. Oh yeah. Well, I guess you don't have to use parchment because, whoops, but don't, don't throw them um, because they're coming up just fine. All right, you guys. Well, what do you think? Have you ever done the cookie press? Do you have any tips for me? I am ready to hear your tips because I thought this was fun enough to be able to do again. And I feel like it is definitely something that you can get better at the way that you press it down. Like there must be a technique I'm missing, right? Let me know in the comments. Otherwise, you guys, that's it for me. If you enjoyed that video, give it a like, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel. I'm doing the 12 days of cookies right now. And this is day number two. And these guys, they're not bad. I will definitely do them again. So cookie number one, excellent. Cookie number two, excellent. What's cookie number three gonna be? Tune in tomorrow to see that cookie. All right, you guys, we'll see you on the next adventure. Bye.